Hello to my dear viewers, hello to my beautiful Walida colleagues, this is Dr. Brodsky um, and today's very short video is on preventative medicine. It's the best type of medicine because it's the most efficient type of medicine and unfortunately we're not benefiting enough, not yet anyway. Um, it's a daily occurrence for me that I hear from a, one of my patients at least once a day, something along the lines, my heart attack was certainly a wake-up call. And I ask myself, why do so many people have to wait for such a drastic wake-up call? At that point, not all the changes are reversible. And it's, it's good to have a wake-up call, but why not do it earlier? Um, so by means of this video, I want to invite all of you who haven't started thinking along these lines yet to think about um, your health, and your strengths and your weaknesses when it comes to your health and how they're playing out on everyday basis and try to extrapolate like we doctors we can see a long before an event happens and we try to intervene um, and you so can you you can extrapolate your health behaviors and you tr can try to predict what will happen 10 years down the line 20 30 40 and so on um, and prevent those heart attacks, prevent diabetes, prevent strokes, prevent life crisis, it's all very possible. So what I'd like to invite you to do is to sit down and have a think about those strengths and weaknesses when it comes to health and what you can do to stack up the odds in your favor because everything we do on everyday basis is either wasteful of our health or it can be like a little deposit into a savings account and why not do the latter? So have a think about your health and also have a think about aging process because it is possible to plan for graceful aging and I want to invite you to do that. Graceful aging is not just an enjoyable way to spend our retirement when perhaps we can still learn, we can travel, we can hang out with interesting people, but also we can become an inspiration for younger people because, you know, the whole civilization actually depends on this sort of inspiration and it cannot be achieved uh, later on in life. We kind of have to work towards it from very early on. And I want to invite you to have a think about these matters and also to have a think about perhaps the conditions, health conditions that you may already have. Are they well managed or do they need tweaking? Because, for example, it's not always realistic, say, later on in life when you're on a lot of medication for example uh, to say to somebody like me a doctor who practices holistic anthroposophic medicine to say I'd love to come off all my medication because at that point later on in life it's not realistic because it might be dangerous uh, we could do some things, yeah, we can reduce medication a little bit, but it's much easier to actually prevent the same high blood pressure from developing earlier on if we are able to see where you are with your health and we can see the patterns. So please have a think about where you are at and have a think about how well your conditions are managed if you have any and see what you can do on an everyday basis to modify how you manage those conditions, how you manage your health. And please plan for graceful aging. Uh, it's not just for you, it's for the whole of society. And if you feel you need um, a little help to look into your conditions, to look into your health and see what changes would be beneficial. If you want me to help, I will be more than happy. So just get in touch. I wish you all good health.